Good day, class. My name is Bashir Ibrahim, and today's class we are to continue from where we stopped last class. Remember, the last class we talked about the price mechanism, you know, for supplier and its determinant. But before now, we talked about what the demand is all about, the determinant of demand, and we move to the supply and the determinant of supply and those uh, you know factors surrounding the supply and demand. So the last class also we try to you know explain what the equilibrium is all about and we say that the equilibrium is where the demand is equal to supply is where the demand is equal to supply then we have price here we have q here let's say this is price and this is quantity then we have supply and we have demand so we try to explain that this point is the equilibrium point and this is where the demand is equal to supply and also the last class, we tried to explain what the excess supply and excess demand is all about. That excess supply, we derive the excess supply above the equilibrium price. And what this means is that the quantity supply is much more than what is being demanded. You know, the quantity supply by the producer is more than what is being demanded by the world, by, you know, the consumer. And which means that the price is of what is the price is increasing. And that serves as incentive for the producer to supply more to the market. And so we have excess supply here. And here, we derive what we call what? Excess, excess demand, right? Excess demand. And what, is, what this means is the demand by the consumer is much more, more than the supply of what? Of the producer. Is more than the supply of the producer. So when you know the, 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 the anything above the equilibrium price, we have excess supply, and anything below the equilibrium price, uh, equilibrium price, we have what we call what excess demand. So what we intend to do today is to illustrate all this theoretical explanation mathematically, and let's see how we can really prove you know this in mathematically. You know we explained the last class that for you to study this, you must be able to analyze, you know, your results graphically, theoretically, and you can also use the, math, you know, the, you know, the, the figures to illustrate your results. So now, we are to treat this question in line with our explanation so far on the demand and supply. So let's start. Now, look at the first, you know, look at the question here, that given demand and supply function as this QD here represents the demand function. Why the QS represent the what? The supply function, right? So we have the demand function, we have the supply function, and we have been asked to calculate the equilibrium price and quantity, determine the quantity of the commodity demand when the price is 60 Naira, 40 Naira, and 35 Naira class. 35 Naira, and so the B part, I mean, number two, Okay, this is 2A, then 2B, 2B, state the behaviors of your result in question A above, and you see, draw a demand curve with the price given and quantity obtained in 2A. You know, we have been explaining what the demand curve is all about, even the two types of demand that we have. That it, 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 I mean, the curve that we have, that it can be linear and non-linear. So we are going to use this question now to explain, you know, the demand curve again. And we also have the three that determine the magnitude of the excess demand when the price decreases to 40 Naira, and to also determine the magnitude of excess supply when the price increases to what? To 80 Naira. Like we try to explain now, that above the equilibrium price, we can, that's where we can have the excess supply, and below the equilibrium price, that's where we can actually have the what? The excess demand. Now, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. We have QD to be. 60, 0.8p, right, of price. So we have Qx to be what? 10 plus p. And you must also ensure that the function given to us is in line with the law you know, of supply and demand. You can see that the quantity demanded here is negatively related to the price, which is also in line with the price of demand, that when the, the, the price is decreasing, the quantity demanded is also expected to be what? To be increasing, right? And when the, the, the price is increasing, 
the quality demanded is what? It's decreasing, it's five percent, and that's why we have this to be what? A negative what? Related. You can see the positive that when the price is increasing under the law of supply, the quantity to be supplied is also what? Increasing. And when the price is decreasing, the quantity is also what? It's decreasing. So the sign is also in line with the law, with the law of supply also. So now, A, calculate the price and quantity, the equilibrium price and quantity, and we say that equilibrium price or quantity is, you know, achieve or derive when the demand is equal to what is equal to supply. So you can say number one here, the equilibrium price and so for equilibrium price and quantity, the demand will be equal to what? The supply, right? The demand will be equal to supply. So you can say that this is 60 P is equal to 10 this, right? Is equal to this, I mean, calculator. Is equal to this, right? So we can collect the light times, right? This and this. So we can say 60 minus this, right? And this will be 0 0.2 P, right? Plus 0 0.8 P. 8 P, right? 0 0.8 P. So what do we have? So this will be what? 1, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.8. We have 1, right? Right, 1. And this will be what? 50. So we can say that the P here is equal to 50. So the equilibrium price here is equal to 50. So for the quantity, for the equilibrium quantity, we can use any of the function here. If your price is correct, irrespective of the function, whether the demand function or the supply function, you are expected to get the same result. You are expected to get the same result. So let's say that I'm using the, de the demand function now. To get the quantity, then we can say that 60 minus 0 0.8, right, for demand. Then substitute this 50 into the price, then we have we have 60, 0 0.8 into what? 50, right? Then the, the quantity, equilibrium quantity now will be, will be 0 0.8 times 50. Then we have 40. Then 60 minus 40 class. Then the Q here will be what? Will be 20. Will be 20. That means when the equilibrium price is 50, the quantity supply is what? is 20, and we can analyze this graphically. So we can analyze this graphically. Let's say we have this. This is price, and this is quantity, right? Let's say we have the supply, and we have the demand here. So the X and D. So what we are saying is this Q here represents 20, and this P here represents what? 50. This is equilibrium. This is what they are saying. That the equilibrium price here is 50, and the equilibrium quantity supply is what? Is 20. It's 20. And that's number A. So number two now determine. Determine number two. So number two, determine the quantity of Demand when price is what is 60, 40, and 35. So what will be the quantity demanded when the price change, you know, from that, let's say from, you know, the 50 to 60, 40, and 35. So what will be the new demand? Now, the function for demand is this, 60P, right? So when the price is what? 16 naira, right? When the price is 16 naira, what will be the quantity what demanded? Then here we have Q will be 60 minus 0 point what? 5P. Then 60 minus 0 point this, right? This. So that will be 50, 0 point 8 times 60. Sorry, that's 48. Then we have 60 minus what? 48 then the Q will be what? 12. So when the price, you know, increase from 50 to 60, the quantity 
to be, you know, demanded by the consumer will be what? Will be 12. Will be 12. Which is also in line with the law of demand that when the price increasing, the quantity demanded is what? Is decreasing. So now, when the equilibrium price is 50, then the quantity demanded is what? Is 20, which is also in line with the law of demand. So when the price is now what? 40, what happened? Let's see the effect of demand when the price is equal to what? 40 now. <coughs> So when price is what? When price is 40, 40 Naira, then the Q here will be 60 into 40, right? Then the Q will be 60, then 0 0.8 times 40, we have 32, right? Then the Q here will be, that's 28, right? Minus 60 class, we have 28, which means when the price now decreased from initial equilibrium of 50, to 40, then the quantity demanded is what? Is 28. The quantity demanded is 28. Please take note, take note. When the price is 50, we have 20. When the price is 60, we have 12. And when the price is 40, we have 28, right? So when the price is what now? When the price is 35. When the price is 35 Naira, what is the quantity demanded? Then here we have Q to be 60, 35, right? So the Q will be 60 minus 0 0.8 times 35. 0 0.8 times 35, we have 28. And Q will be 28 minus 60, then we have 32, which means when the price is equal to 35, the quantity demanded will be what? 32. All this is also in line with the law of demand, that when the quantity demanded, I mean, when the price is increasing or decreasing, it's also affecting the what? The quantity demanded, but in a negative direction, you know, emphatically related. When price is increasing, the quantity to be demanded under the law of demand is expected to be what? Decreasing. And when the price is decreasing, the quantity is what? It's increasing. So you can see that when we have the equilibrium price of 50, the quantity demanded is 20. When we have the equilibrium price of 60 now is 12, 40, 28. And when it's decreasing, the quantity is also what? It's increasing. Now, state the behaviors of your results in 2A above, which means that is, that is the behaviors. That is, when the price is increasing, the quantity demanded is also decreasing. And when the price is what? When the price is decreasing, the quantity demanded is increasing. That's the behavior. It's negatively related. Increasing one is bringing about the decrease in the other one. And decreasing one is bringing about the increase in the other one. So the price and quantity demanded there are moving in emphatically as what? Emphatically related. As moving what? As emphatically related. Increasing one is bringing about the decrease in the other one. And increasing the other one is bringing about the decrease in the other one. So the price and quantity here are moving as what? Infastly proportional and moving as infastly proportional. And to see, draw a demand curve with the price given and the quantity obtained into it, which means we can also use the result that we have here to just analyze or draw what we call a demand curve, right? A demand curve. 